forces of the Earth. Some are familiar and essential, such as the force of gravity or the dramatic forces of nature. But then there are darker, mysterious forces, feared and revered by ancient cultures, strange energies that science is still at a loss to explain. The forces of the Earth are full of bizarre quirks that can cause destruction, even death. 25 degrees north latitude, 70 degrees west longitude, the center of one of the most mysterious places on Earth, a so-called energy vortex of destruction. It's called the Bermuda Triangle. For 500 years, since Christopher Columbus first wrote about seeing weird phenomena here, more than 1,000 ships and planes have disappeared without a trace. We have no uh, evidence whatsoever that makes the, the region described as the Bermuda Triangle any more dangerous than any other set of waters in the world. But that wasn't the case for Flight 19, December 5th, 1945, 2 p.m. Five Navy Avenger bombers leave Fort Lauderdale, Florida on a routine training mission. The pilots and crew are all experienced airmen. The day is clear and mild. But at 4 p.m., the Avengers begin sending out distress calls. Then, abruptly, the SOS calls stop the crewmen are never heard from again. This missing squadron, known as Flight 19, becomes one of the greatest air mysteries of all time. Five planes and 13 airmen vanish in the Bermuda Triangle. Did a sudden change in weather cause the disappearance of Flight 19? Did they run into a bizarre geomagnetic force field? Or was it pilot error? But pilot error in all five planes at the same time? Virtually impossible. Many theories have been proposed since 1945. The planes were abducted by UFOs, sucked into a parallel universe, or even fell victim to death rays from Atlantis. 45 years later, a startling development. In August 1991, a barnacle-encrusted Navy Avenger was recovered from the treacherous Bermuda Triangle. Does this bomber hold clues to the fate of Flight 19? When this Avenger broke the surface of the ocean, it was the most spectacular thing I'd ever seen in my life. It was like bringing a body out of the ocean. The mystery still lingers. We're still working on it today. A group called Project 19 is dedicated to solving the mystery. But retrieving the Navy plane also means they must work in the Dentley Bermuda Triangle. There are forces out there. There is a sense of energy about you all the time. You don't know what's going to happen out there. And as the recovery team works to determine if this Avenger was part of Flight 19, other sailors and pilots who dare to venture into the Bermuda Triangle continue to be plagued by the frightening phenomenon. I took the controls of the PBY about two hours out of Bermuda, and it really was a beautiful suddenly, day. Suddenly, as I say, we could not see the wingtips of the airplane. We were flying in a we tube flying. going through this stuff, and it never dawned on me I was in the Bermuda Triangle. On June 11, 1986, Martin Caden and his wife, Dee Dee, were part of a flight commemorating the history of a PBY flying boat called the Catalina. The Cadens are both seasoned pilots with over 50 years of experience between them. On June 11, Dee Dee was at the controls. Suddenly, all the plane's instruments stopped functioning. The magnetic compass was spinning. It was totally useless. We had nothing from the outside world. We were in limbo. We believe there was a tremendous electromagnetic effect. We don't know for sure. But we had $2 million worth of the world's finest electronic instruments just completely crap out on us. It was very sudden when we came out of it. And it was about an hour, maybe an hour and a half out of Jacksonville that it cleared up. And little by little, all the instruments began to come back online. The gyros stopped spinning. The magnetic compass settled down and all the electronic devices came back in and were working perfectly. Martin and Dee Dee Caton survived because of sheer luck. Perhaps, like the Cadens, Flight 19's instruments failed, but the pilot's luck ran out. If that's true, then what is the source of a force powerful enough to make technology useless? It's hard for science to go out there and document it and dissect it because it doesn't happen all the time. But boy, once you experience it, you have a lot of respect for it. It's dangerous.